Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are finding their new normal now that they've left the United Kingdom for North America. The two have settled into their new lives on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. They seem to be doing well. And one source recently revealed that Meghan and Harry have ordered food from this popular Canadian fast food spot. Meghan has always cared a lot about health and wellness. Before Meghan was the Duchess of Sussex, she was a full-time actress with a lifestyle blog on the side. She cared a lot about health and wellness, and she still does. Meghan often practices yoga and sticks to a strict healthy diet. According to Cooking Light, Meghan starts her day with hot water and lemon, and she incorporates various healthy meals throughout the day, such as acai bowls and grilled fish. The Duchess reportedly does drink wine, but otherwise she stays away from alcohol. And she's had a big impact on Harry's lifestyle, too. The Duchess has turned Harry on to a much healthier lifestyle. Before Meghan and Harry met, Harry didn't think much about a healthy lifestyle. When he was younger, he would often drink and party too much, and as he grew older, his smoking habits stuck with him. But Meghan changed all of that. When the two started dating, Meghan was able to get Harry to quit smoking. She also reportedly helped him lose 10 pounds before their wedding by introducing him to a healthier diet. And now, that the two live in Canada, they can live an even more active life. The two seem to still indulge now and then at Tim Hortons. Meghan and Harry recently cut professional ties with the royal family, and the two have moved on to start a new life together in Canada. They're currently renting a gorgeous multi-million dollar mansion on Vancouver Island, and they've already been taking advantage of the great outdoors. Megan was recently seen walking her dogs with Archie. Though the two are probably excited to become more active, they also clearly still like to indulge in fast food every now and then. According to The Sun magazine, a source close to the Royals said the couple's security team has picked up orders for the two from a local Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is a popular Canadian fast food chain with mostly sandwich options such as the ham and cheddar sandwich or the bacon grilled cheese melt. They seem to be soaking up their new Canadian lifestyle. Megan and Harry are clearly making the most of living in Canada. They've flown under the radar, which is exactly what they want. Their Instagram account has been less active than usual, which shows they're enjoying the time they are spending in their new home, and they seem to be taking advantage of being closer to nature. And, evidently, the two are indulging in some true Canadian fast food, too. Another analysis. Royal fans remember how Kate Middleton was the villain, but then Meghan Markle came along. Just like it used to be with Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, the world seems intent on creating a rivalry between Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. In reality, these two probably don't care enough about each other to be having a feud. But the rumors persist. Kate and Meghan are on very different paths in the royal family, especially now that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have opted to step back as senior royals and become financially independent from the family. But their destinies are worth comparing either way. It's just funny how Kate used to be the conniving villain until Meghan came along and took that title. What was it about Meghan that made everyone love Kate so much? Kate Middleton used to have a very different reputation in the royal family. The public is currently obsessed with Kate and hold her up as an example of what it means to be the perfect royal wife. However, it wasn't too long ago that they were calling her the steaming, conniving woman intent on ruining the monarchy. Prince William met his future bride when they were both students at the University of St. Andrews, and that's when all the trouble started. First, rumors were circulating that Kate intentionally chose that college so she could meet 
and seduce the heir to the British throne. The idea tainted Kate's image from the start. Royal followers were devastated when Will and Kate broke up in 2007, but prior to that, they had been especially vicious in tearing her apart. It was all a big contradiction. Public perception of Kate Middleton changed once her first child was born. The major turning point for Kate was, stereotypically, when she bore the future king a male heir. The citizens may not have realized they were doing so, but after Prince George's birth in 2013, coverage of the Duchess suddenly became more glowing and less critical. Still, it was nothing compared to how the tables turned when Prince Harry found himself an unlikely candidate for a wife. The tabloids constantly compared Kate Middleton to Meghan Markle, and Kate always once. If Prince George's birth turned Kate into a good person, then Meghan's introduction turned her into a saint. Almost instantly, these two were pitted against one another, and Kate was always held up as the gold standard of womanhood that Meghan could never measure up to. For every dramatic moment Meghan experienced, the media seemed to highlight the difference in how Kate handled matters better. Meghan's dresses were more revealing while Kate's were always demure. Meghan held her baby awkwardly while Kate made it look effortless. Meghan tearfully complained about unfair treatment from the press while Kate kept that stiff upper lip intact and smiled through it all. Never mind that comparing Meghan to Kate is impossible since they're nothing alike. Both women are more complicated than they appear. Ultimately, both women have their flaws and virtues, just like every other human. And they actually have more in common than some might realize. Neglecting to acknowledge this only reinforces stereotypes that have persisted for centuries. All women lose when women's lives are boiled down to these simple binaries. Selfless mother against ruthless careerist. Helen Lewis wrote in The Atlantic, Meghan is a mother too. Kate has political interests, such as mental health and early childhood education. Not everything they do is sending a signal or making a statement. Some of their personal choices are just that, personal choices. Meghan Markle might be painted as the villain now. But assuming that's true is making the issue much more simple than it truly is. Another report. The Queen has requested Harry and Meghan attend the annual Commonwealth service with the rest of the royals next month. Government representatives of the 53 member nations will gather at Westminster Abbey for the one-hour event on the afternoon of March 9th. For the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it will be wrapped into a wider whistle-stop schedule which will mark their final duties on the family front line. At last year's event, Meghan was heavily pregnant with now nine-month Archie, who will fly with his parents from Canada for their engagements, the Sunday Times reports. Friends have told the newspaper, the Queen is remarkably relaxed. As Harry and Meghan will be the highest paid speakers that exist on the corporate market. These dist on the corporate market. These dist on the corporate market. What royal courtiers are still in negotiations about how Harry and Meghan will be able to profit from the Sussex brand in the future, with any blueprint subject to an annual review in spring 2021. Next month's Commonwealth Day ceremony will likely see the Duke and Duchess reunite with William and Kate, with whom they are rumored to have fallen out. When they were pictured smiling together at the 2019 event, the group were known as the Fab Four, a nickname which has since evaporated after the Sussexes severed professional ties by pulling out of the Kensington Palace household and their joint charitable foundation. Buckingham Palace refused to confirm Her Majesty had asked the Duke and Duchess to attend the Commonwealth service. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.